We're Biscuiteers, the original hand ice biscuit company. Each year we ice around 3 million biscuits by hand and today we'll be showing you how to ice our DIY gingerbread house. To follow along, you'll need our DIY gingerbread house kit. Inside the tin you will find all the equipment needed to create your gingerbread house. You will have some instructions, sprinkles, piping bags, ice and sugar and six biscuits. First we need to make our icing. Put the icing sugar in a bowl and stir in a couple of spoonfuls of water until the icing is thick like toothpaste. Split the icing into two, putting a spoonful to one side. When you're happy with the consistency, open your icing bag and fold the bag down over your hand and spoon in the mixture. We want the bag to be about two thirds full. You then need to take your bag and push the icing down to the closed end to get rid of any air pockets. Then tie a knot at the open end of it. Make a small cut at the very end of the piping bag, keeping it as close to the bottom as possible. Next, trim down the seam at the end of the bag. This creates a clean edge and allows you to see the smaller details you are icing. Pinch and put pressure on the end of the piping bag so that a small amount of icing comes out. Then pinch again to create a clean opening. Your piping bag is now ready to use. Take the remaining icing and stir in a couple more spoonfuls of water. This will make the icing thinner and will be used for our flood icing. Once happy with the consistency, take your piping bag, fold it over one hand and pour the icing in. As before, get rid of the air pockets and tie a knot in the end of it. If you want to colour your icing before adding it to the piping bag, stir in a tiny amount of food colouring, no more than a tip of a teaspoon. Now you're ready to decorate. Let's get started. Take the two ends of the house and start decorating those first. Decorate with whatever design you like. We're adding heart shapes. Next, ice the sides of the gingerbread house. These are the smaller of the two rectangles in the tin. Ice the detail on one biscuit and then repeat on the other one. Now it's time for the roof panels. Take each panel and pipe on the details. I would always recommend icing the roof panels before you assemble the house, as they can be difficult to ice onto when they're high up and positioned at an angle. Remember, use line icing first to draw outlines before using the flood icing to fill in any shapes that you create. Once you've added any flood icing, this will need to dry before adding more details. To do so, put the biscuits in the oven at 50 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. Once dry, you can add more details.
Using line icing to create dots is a great way to add a variety of details to your gingerbread house without making it too complicated. When you add your sprinkles and decorations, simply add a dot of line icing and then press the decorations on while the icing is still wet. Leave all your biscuits to dry for at least 15 minutes before starting to assemble the house. Now it's construction time. It is much easier to build the house if it is stuck down at the base. I would suggest that you stick it to a cake board, cake stand or a chopping board. It's also a good idea to use a couple of small bowls to help keep the biscuits in place while you are building. Pipe icing along the bottom and edges of your walls and press them down onto the cake board. Use the bowls to help support your biscuits as you stand them up. Once the icing sets, they will be fixed firm. Leave this to dry for at least 20 minutes before attaching the roof panels. Pipe icing into any gaps that you have between the biscuits to make sure it's all secure. Now it's time to attach the roof. Pipe icing along one side of the end pieces. Make sure the icing is nice and thick as the roof is the trickiest part to stick on. The bowls are handy here to support the roof biscuits as they dry. Once the roof panels are dry, pipe down the centre of the roof to fill any gaps to finish off your house. And there you have it, one beautiful festive gingerbread house.